47, 57, I know 47, there were only four here. Where's the place? The representatives from 47. Are they here? Oh, I'm sorry. That's you. Uh, they had uh, 14. I, I know several of them of us. So what, do, you, do you know how many of your class uh, will live today? I, I don't have that number. Four or five. I, I'm sorry, you are. I don't know. I don't know everybody here. I'll let you. Oh, I'm sure. Okay, I should have done that. <laughs> I recall you were on that 47 basketball team. Yes. You and Carl Sands, Dave Parker, yes. Louis Fruit. Louis Fruit. Louis's got some health problems right now. He does not. He had some back surgery and things that happened. He did. He had a mini stroke. I think he's home doing well. <laughs> Which of the waves was in? Pardon? You were in it? Were you in 47? Uh, yeah, I warmed the bench. You warmed the bench. <laughs> We've all done that. Um, but I you know, appreciate the fact that you know, that's been now, uh, it seemed like 70 years. No, it doesn't. Does it? No. I find it <laughs> having fun. Very fast. Okay. Well, we're, 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 we're glad you came. Thanks very much. Uh, uh, last, uh, our name? From Seattle. Seattle. You want to say it? <clears throat> well, I'm very thankful to be here. We live, uh, my son live in Seattle, Washington. So we had quite a trip here, but it's yes. worth coming back. Okay. It's, it's uh, quite an honor to see people again and be associated with Silver Lake. Yes, I had a mic in my hand, Bob Wade, and there were several of us that went all 12 years together. And, uh, Especially, I remember my cousin Maynard Wade, and he reminded me one time that in our early days, our handwriting was so bad, they made us grade each other's papers. <laughs> but, you know, it got better, my handwriting improved, and the teachers realized I couldn't spell. <laughs> did, did you get good grades when your friends were grading your papers? I said, did you get good grades since your friends were grading your papers? If not, you need better friends. <laughs> um, okay, okay, well, like, uh, class of 57, I believe they, I was told that Mr. In my day, it was Mono, today it's Montel, uh, that he was going to be the spokesman for, for their class, so I'll just turn it over to him. Did you know you were going to be the spokesman? Okay, all right. You're not putting surprises on you. They didn't ask, I was oh, told. Okay. Hey, that's well. <laughs> uh, we had a reunion this afternoon, and it was really great. Uh, we had a few that aren't here tonight. I don't remember Pete Roberts or Norman Roberts. Uh, he really brought back some old memories. And he was he was a card when we went through school. Uh, some of us just found out tonight he couldn't read when he went through school. So he faked his way through. Anyway, I did see one picture and went through up there the typing class. Uh, Fancher Fry was the teacher for many years. And uh, I recall one time Joe Pink was sitting there typing away and he threw the carriage and it never stopped. Fancher <laughs> uh, had a few words for that. Uh, I did tell him this afternoon though about Fancher, uh, so far as I'd say my success in, in life, she had a great big deal to do with it. She didn't like boys, but for some reason her and I got along pretty good. So uh, uh, if she was here today, I'd tell her the same thing. We, uh, we've lost eight from our class. Um, I guess I won't go over them all, but uh, we had, I think, 13 of the class members there tonight. Uh, two of them didn't actually graduate with us, but uh, they came back, and that was good to see them. Um, anything else on the 
Can't think of anything. I've got a question for you, though. If you're not going to talk, then I'll ask questions. Uh, I'm not sure if yours was the first class that we got the influx from Burkett. And I know I believe, because <clears throat> I know one time I was talking to Nancy Wade. Wait, was she in your class? Yeah. And I was thinking she told me that 56 was the last year of Burkett. 55? They okay. were there the last two years. Okay, because I know, and I was just kind of interested in how many of your class came from Burkett. <laughs> Here's one. <laughs> We're up to one. Patricia counting them up there. when you start with, well, you said 56, the, the number of students that ended up graduating from the Silver Lake that came from Burkett when they closed. Uh, I think uh, you look at different classes, there were different numbers. Uh, I can honestly say, I think our, our particular class didn't have any. But we were, you know, I was at the tail end of when they were starting to send them to Benton and Akron because they <clears throat> and actually formed to the Kinder Valley. So, but we're still glad they all came because some of the numbers would have been really low. I did get a, in fact, I talked to Diane Klinker. I got a letter. She sent some money in, and I didn't know who she was. It was a Dorothy McIntosh MOOC. And she had a, not that I understand, she was there this afternoon. But she sent a letter. She was thanking Karen. Carolyn, you made, you made a note of her, 1957. Says, so glad I'm on your list, even though I did not get to stay at Silver Lake to finish school. The educators and kids at Silver Lake <clears throat> made a huge impact on my life and that of my brother's Bill McIntosh. The Chestine Chapel, we all know, encouraged my brother so much in the classroom and through the scout troop that he was inspired to go to college and received his doctorate from Indiana University. He taught at the University of Georgia many years. He was in his 60s, excuse me, when he died of complications of surgery. Delbert and Frida Carlin took him in at the time of Armand's death. As for me, Dorothy McIntosh, Mrs. Bumgarner, and Mrs. Near pushed me to try harder. I considered us uh, excuse me, she's the one who wrote this. This poor white trash who lived at the lake, which I think is not true, but by any means. Eldora and Pat Neer took me in so I could finish my seventh grade. I too went to college in Marion and taught first graders for 27 years. We owe a debt of gratitude to some of teachers for seeing potential and holding us accountable. The friends I had in fourth through seventh impacted my life. Got it. Got it. And Diane Clay, a major one. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. Some cheering for the Macintosh. It's kind of it's heartwarming to hear the, you know, the kids who either went to Silver Lake and uh, to me, when I look at my experience in high school, I think most of yours, when you look at the class that you had, the size you had, and you look at them today, uh, I think the kids who go to Warsaw, they're my guess is graduating class is probably 750. Uh, how many? 550, 540. Oh, dropped off then. What's, what's 200, right? You have to come down that when, when we're talking in the 20s, but you know, when you, when you went to high school, you knew all the kids in your class. A lot of you went to school for 12 years. You probably knew a half to three-fourths of the kids in the whole whole building, 
and now kids graduated, you know, they don't even know the kids in their own class. So I think we're very fortunate, uh, and I'm, because I'm proud of still have uh, an alumni for so long. One, one other group is not on here I like to recognize, uh, from 1942 back. So that would have been people with over 75 years, which is older than I am. Uh, at the ten, I know we had class of 39 was Mr. Masker, correct? Pardon? The class of 39. They're, they're all, I think, at this table. Graduate from Yeah. yeah. yeah they follow up for about over 75 years since you've been out of school. That's a long time. <laughs> uh, and I'm on the I know for the first time, I'm 40. Oh, no show. Who else we got at 41? This is Jagger, we all know Ellen. Who else at 42? And Violet Jude. Why do you feel glad that you're all here? Who would play that? I'm glad you are in attendance. <laughs> 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 This reminds me of my second story of the night of the years uh, about the company. Right up around there's a lot of a lot of attendants uh, that are married to either fellow alumni of Solite or maybe even their own classmates. There's a story about the couple that went back on their 50th class reunion. And they were leaving and had at the school building. And they were saying, you remember our senior prom? When on our way home, we went behind Mr. Smith's barn, and that was the first time I kissed you. And then she said, yeah, he says, we ought to do that again. And she said, well, I know. She said, oh, come on, it's been 50 years. So they, uh, they were walking along hand in hand, like when they were in high school, and they went behind the barn. And he starts kissing her, and she starts shaking and jumping, and the sparks are just flying. And he said, wow, he says, that wasn't that good 50 years ago. He said, yeah, but Mr. Jones didn't have an electric fence 50 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> There's different types of electricity. <laughs> uh, this time for the memorial services, first of all, we like to, uh, Terry's going to read the list of the fellow alumni that we lost in the uh, past year. And if I would welcome, uh, if anybody had, knows of somebody that's not on the list, make sure we get care of their names. Uh, it's kind of a word of mouth, see a name in an obituary, you might relate it with Silver Lake, you might not. But once Terry reads this, if there's somebody else that you know of, uh, be sure and let us know. How many more pages you got there? Right. How many more pages you got there, Jim? Uh, that's it. I'm out. I got one other thing. I'm not sure. I'm Tough act to follow. Uh, if you would, please uh, join me at, in remembrance of, the, of these memorials. Uh, uh, Betty Jane Brandenburg Deaton, class of 43. Josephine Richardson Jane, class of 47. Rex Hogan, class of 49. Mary Louise Jones Rowland, class of 50. Paul D. Warwick, 51. Esther Lewis Reitzman, 52. Phil L. Harden, 53. Uh, Judy A. Miller Whitaker, 56. Carl Sandlin, 66. Monty L. Flory, 66. Art Winnower, uh, coach from 53 to 58. Anybody play for Art? <clears throat> and uh, Maryland's uh, fruit soon, class of 49. Are there others? Yes. Carrie? Yes. Do you have Francis Shipley Enos? Francis Shipley Enos? Francis Shipley. She was Shipley. on a year ago. <coughs> she she just died last October. No. Thanks. What, what year was she? 